Mary, c. 1894, September 13, 1916, also known as Murderous Mary, was a five-ton Asian elephant who performed in the Sparks World Famous Shows Circus. After killing a trainer in Kingsport, Tennessee, she was hanged in nearby Irwin, Tennessee, in 1916. On September 11, 1916, a homeless man named Red Eldridge, who landed a job as a transient hotel clerk, was hired as an assistant elephant trainer by the Sparks World Famous Shows Circus. He was killed by Mary in Sullivan County, Tennessee, on the evening of September 12. Although unqualified, Eldridge led the elephant parade, riding atop Mary's back, Mary was the star of the show, walking at the front. There have been several accounts of his death. One, recounted by W. H. Coleman, who claimed to be a witness, is that he prodded her behind the ear with a hook after she reached down to nibble on a watermelon rind. She went into a rage, snatched Eldridge with her trunk, threw him against a drink stand and stepped on his head, crushing it. A contemporary newspaper account, from the Johnson City staff, said that Mary collided its trunk vice like about Eldridge's body, lifted him 10 feet 3.0 meters in the air, then dashed him with fury to the ground, and with the full force of her beastly fury is said to have sunk sick her giant tusks entirely through his body. The animal then trampled the dying form of Eldridge as if seeking a murderous triumph, then with a sudden, swing of her massive foot hurled his body into the crowd. The details of the aftermath are confused in a maze of sensationalist newspaper stories and folklore. Most accounts indicate that she calmed down afterward and did not charge the onlookers, who began chanting kill the elephant. Let's kill it. Within minutes, local blacksmith Henchcox tried to kill Mary, firing five rounds with little effect. Meanwhile, the leaders of several nearby towns threatened not to allow the circus to visit if Mary was included. The circus owner, Charlie Sparks, reluctantly decided that the only way to quickly resolve the potentially ruinous situation was to kill the wounded elephant in public. On the following day, a foggy and rainy September 13, 1916, Mary was transported by rail to Unicoi County, Tennessee, where a crowd of over 2,500 people, including most of the town's children, assembled in the Clinchfield Railroad Yard. The elephant was hanged by the neck from a railcar-mounted industrial derrick between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock that afternoon. The first attempt resulted in a snapped chain, causing Mary to fall and break her hip as dozens of children fled in terror. The severely wounded elephant died during a second attempt and was buried beside the tracks. A veterinarian examined Mary after the hanging and determined that she had a severely infected tooth in the precise spot where Red Eldridge had prodded her. The authenticity of a widely distributed and heavily retouched photo of her death was disputed years later by Argosy magazine. Mark Medoff's dramatic version of the story entitled Big Mary was first produced by Great Valley High School in Pennsylvania in 1989 and was published by Dramatist's Play Service in 1990. George Brandt's play Elephant's Graveyard tells the story of Mary's execution through the circus members and the residents of Irwin, first produced by the University of Texas at Austin in 2007 and was published by Samuel French Incorporated in 2010. Writer Caleb Lewis wrote a play about Mary and the events that led to her execution entitled Clinchfield. The play premiered at Flinders University on July 22, 2009. Singer-songwriter Chuck Brodsky wrote a song entitled Mary the Elephant. Writer Sharon McCrum referred to the hanging of Mary in a few of her ballad novels. In She Walks These Hills, a radio DJ uses the example of hanging the elephant as a warning, begging people not to use vigilante justice against an escaped convict. In the first chapter of The Devil Amongst the Lawyers, an elderly reporter brags to a cub reporter about the power of the press, insisting that the circus owner was forced to hang the elephant as a result of his inflammatory newspaper articles. Dana Adam Shapiro told the story of Mary in his book You Can Be Right, or You Can Be Married Looking for Love in the Age of Divorce. In the short story anthology McSweeney's Mammoth Treasury of Thrilling Tales, Glenn David Gold's story The Tears of Squonk, and What Happened Thereafter tells a fictionalized version of Mary's story. Jodie Picoult mentions Mary in her novel Leaving Time, published on October 14, 2014. Me Without You refers to a circus elephant on trial and sentenced to hanging in their 2012 concept album 10 stories, specifically in the song Elephant in the Dock. Mighty Mary is a 2018 novel by Australian author Max Devine which depicts a heavily fictionalized biography for Mary, including her time in the circus and her trial and eventual execution, published December, 2018. The story of Mary's hanging is mentioned in the Scott Pratt novel Judgment Cometh, and that right soon, 
while describing the setting of Irwin, Tennessee. List of individual elephants. List of unusual deaths. Chune, elephant. Topsy, elephant. Tyke, elephant. Zahia, elephant.